Wonder Woman is probably the most famous female superhero in the world. As most people know, she is the princess of an island filled with Amazon warrior women, called Femascara. The island is purely for women, as men are not allowed there, though exceptions have been made in the past. Since there are no men on the island, it does raise the question of whether Wonder Woman has slept with one of the other Amazons, but whether she has done this or not is anyone's guess. I've never read about it, but it would make sense. After all, if there are no men, she has no alternatives. Though maybe that's why Amazons fight so much and are so angry all the time, pent up sexual tension. Though in the New 52 comics, it is revealed that the Amazons reproduce by raiding ships that come near the island, sleeping with all the men on the ship to get pregnant, then killing all the men. It's pretty messed up. Though as far as I know, Wonder Woman never took part in this. But in any case, Wonder Woman has slept with several men. The first was Steve Trevor. Oh man, this is too good to be true. And it is. Steve Trevor was the first man that Wonder Woman ever saw, so naturally it was the first man that she was ever with. It does make sense that she would be enchanted with the first man she ever saw. After all, when you've never seen something before, the first time is often the most captivating. What other depraved thoughts must you be thinking? God, your daughter's got a nice rack. She was with Steve Trevor in many different versions of the character, including the TV series Batman the Brave and the Bold. I have to say, being a secret agent is a cinch when you've got a super-powered girlfriend. I wouldn't know. And the main continuity of the DC Comics. In the New 52 comics, Steve Trevor is in love with Wonder Woman, but apparently they never took it to the next level of a relationship. He is just her UN liaison. In the Justice League comic book, the two discuss it, and it is almost stated that she does have feelings for him, but that she isn't with Steve Trevor, not because she doesn't care for him, but in order to protect him. She is invulnerable, but he is not, and she feels that if Steve Trevor is with her, then she is putting him in harm's way. I'm serious. I can't promise I can control my strength in the throes of passion. I don't want to put you in the hospital or anything. At least, it does come across that way. It's never directly stated. In the New 52 comics and the New 52 animated films, Wonder Woman and Superman have been dating. They also date in the Injustice video game as well. So Superman and Wonder Woman have slept together in three different mediums. It's actually the perfect couple in my mind. Not to be too graphic, but quite frankly, she's the only woman alive who could probably take the full power of a Superman thrust. How he and Lois do it without killing her is beyond me. These mortals, they want to fool around, but they're just not equipped. Just too much liability. I I'm going to wind up crushing that girl. Right? Superman and Wonder Woman have also had children together in certain versions of the characters. In Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Strikes Again, they have a daughter named Lara, after Superman's Kryptonian mother. They had a son together in the comics Superman Distant Fires, and in the graphic novel Kingdom Come by Mark Wade and Alex Ross, the two had a family. It is actually pretty similar to Injustice, in that the Joker kills Lois, and then Superman and Wonder Woman get together. Though these are all alternative universes, and in the main DC canon of the comics, the two of them don't have a family, they're just dating. Batman and Wonder Woman have often been set up as a couple, especially in the classic TV series Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. They were built up as a will-they-won't-they they type couple. Unfortunately, they never actually dated officially in the show, and though they have kissed, they never seem to have go as far as to slept with one another in the show's universe. Although, it wouldn't surprise me if they had, as there was certainly a strong attraction between the two. Diana's a remarkable woman. She's a valued friend. She's standing right behind me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. Keep digging. But in the Injustice comic series, Superman is put into a magically induced coma that shows him a dream of an alternate reality in which the Joker didn't kill Lois and Superman didn't kill the Joker. Batman killed the Joker instead. And in this reality, Batman and Wonder Woman end up getting married, which of course means the marriage is consummated. Though this is just a dream sequence, but it is actually quite nice to see the two of them finally together. There was also a romance between her and Nemesis, real name Tom Tressa, and though they did knock boots, it kind of died when he realised Wonder Woman didn't really love him and was just using him. It wasn't really a great romance, and it did last a while, but it never really took off for the fans. The two basically met through work, and it just went on from there. There was also another brief romance with Trevor Barnes. This did not last long at all, and he soon was killed off. But there was a short romance between the two, so it's possible that they did hook up together. And in the Flashpoint Paradox, not the CW Flash TV series, but the Flashpoint comic book series and the animated movie based on it, Wonder Woman actually sleeps with Aquaman in a fit of wild passion. 
Unfortunately, they are seen by Aquaman's wife, Mira, who then later tries to kill Wonder Woman, only to have her head cut off by Wonder Woman and sent back to Aquaman, which is what led to the war between the Atlanteans and the Amazons, and the destruction of most of Europe, and then later, pretty much the whole world, until of course the Flash set things right. And that is all of the men that Wonder Woman has slept with. Personally, I think the most interesting romance would have been a marriage between Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Though Superman and Wonder Woman are probably the right fit for one another, I would have loved to see an Aquaman romance unfold fully, and their two cultures intermingle. It just would have been quite entertaining. But which is your favourite match for Wonder Woman out of these? Or would you prefer to see her with someone else entirely? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week, and also to raise money to adapt comic book stories into short animated films. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.